Good morning. Thank you for having me here. And nearly everything was said already, but not quite yet. So sorry for me trespassing on your patience a little longer. And I would like to share some feelings that I had today when I was at this marvelous and inspiring conference because I was happy, embarrassed, and I am curious at the same time. Happy because I am here in a place which was filled and packed with people that were so interested and curious about the Greek Sustainability Code and what has been created in the last two years. I am embarrassed because of the decisiveness of the QualityNet Foundation and of the National Bank of Greece at the same time. The decisiveness of two years of transposing a German instrument by intention, which is not so easy to handle, I think, in Greece, to a Greek instrument. I am embarrassed by the decisiveness of the National Bank of Greece because of the vision of a sustainability index to be created and because of the idea of integrating the sustainability code into the creditworthiness processes. And this from the very beginning of the project. Because you know, just some months ago, I had a visit of a big German investor who told me that they did, on a pilot project basis, test how to integrate the sustainability code declarations of conformity into their creditworthiness processes after three years of work and application of the sustainability code in Germany. And this is so interesting because I think, this is where my curiosity lies within, that we can learn from each other. And this is why I value this partnership that we have with, with QualityNet Foundation so highly because it is not only the QualityNet Foundation which takes material and uh, things that we um, have developed, for example, the training program, the code itself, and other things as a blueprint for the adaption in Greece, but as we also learn from the Greek case. I am really very much looking forward to the declarations of conformity by Greek companies because what I learned, for example, today already was that sustainability is poetic. When I talk with companies applying the code, I never heard before words like beautiful or expressions like there is a magic of the code lying within. I never heard something like this. In Germany, it's always about structure, targets, aims, usability, market relevance. So this is something, the feeling that I gather from here today that I will take home with me tonight. Nevertheless, I completely agree that we have still a very long way to go concerning capacity development to fulfill the EU requirements on non-financial disclosure. But still, I think we can leapfrog some of the developments that we had in the past. We can pace up speed and decisiveness and give orientations to the companies because they really are looking forward it, to it. If you speak upon many standards existing on sustainability already and many initiatives that are already out there, it's completely true. But what is the added value of the sustainability code is that it really can help to structure the information which is already in the company itself and to meet the requirements of the various international standards that are out there and to make it a reliable information. Together, we face a big chance, not only a challenge, but also a chance to create a network of heading forward companies in Europe. We must show, and we can show, that we are serious about sustainability. In order to transform the economic model that we have right now into a sustainability business and market model worldwide. If you ask me, the next wall to fall is the wall of non-disclosure policies within policies and states as well as within companies. So please support us with your declaration of conformity. Support us with your support, support to the Greek Sustainability Code. And I think that QNF and RNE are two partners 
that are most willing to create a European framework on sustainability reporting because we clearly need it. The next step will be to gather a critical mass of reliable, comparable and accessible information on environmental, social and governance aspects so that it can become market relevant and so that it can become a competition on real sustainability performance and not only the best report. So Chris Rula and all the team of QualityNet Foundation and the National Bank of Greece, let's go back to work. Work starts right in the afternoon, I fear, and I congratulate you to this really good conference. Thank you for having us. <laughs>